In this tutorial I will show you how to create a save file, which will mean we will save the state of the current scene, for example a ball standing at this position, we hit save and as soon as we go to a different position and hit load it goes back to the save position. The same is true for other positions. So let's start. You should start by downloading these two files. Um, the link is in the description. You can just drag them into your project somewhere where you can find them. So it doesn't have to be necessary the root folder, just put them somewhere. Um, let's set up our scene. So at first we need a plane. And set the plane to 000. zero, zero. Um, then we will add a sphere. Um, set this to the same position, a little bit higher maybe. Like that. And we need a UI canvas with two buttons on it. So, we will put the first button here. And the second button we will put here. And the text is just safe. And the other text is load. So now we should add a script to our, our sphere and we call it my script. Create an ad. <clears throat> so we go into Visual Studio, the my script is already there. And you see those two scripts. The first thing we should do is we change the save game. So we want to store the position of our player. So, um, and here you can see all the attributes that are um, saved in the save file. Uh, we will add a new attribute calling um, public vector suite uh, player position. And the initial value is vector suite zero. Okay, we will go to my script. So the first thing that we should do is just to move um, the player around and we will do this by um, set or add some values to the position. Like input, get axis, horizontal, a zero, and input, get axis, vertical. Okay, let's try this. And if everything work, works, we should be able, yes, we are able to move the player, which is fine. So now we add, we will add two more methods, a load method, um, and a save method. We will make these two methods public. And as soon as you load, you should uh, do something like uh, save game, load. And when you save, you should call the save method. So before you save, you should store the value in the save game itself. So you uh, use the save game dot instance dot player position. This is a um, variable or field name we just choose for the position and set this to transform position. When we load a game, we should do it the other way around. We uh, should save the, or assign the position to the position that's in the save game. Uh, make sure that you um, first load the game and then assign the position and during save, you do it the other way around. First save it to the save game and then call save. Okay, let's save this and start our game and let's try it out. So we can move around. Um, I will move to this edge here and uh, say save. And, oh, we are missing a little bit. Um, we have to assign the actions to the buttons. So let's go to the save button and drag the sphere here and say my script save. And the same for the load button. Just um, drop the sphere here and choose ex action my script load. So <clears throat> this should be better. 
I can move around, I move to this edge, say save. I can move uh, to this position and say load and it goes directly back to this edge. I can go here and say save and as soon as I click load, the sphere will move to this position. So and that's it, you can use this for player names, for experience points, for levels, for enemy positions, for the current level you are in, for all the levels that the player has already done. The position is just one of many things you can store in a file. So and there are so many possible ways to do this, this is just one way which worked for me the best. Um, and. Uh, it works on all platforms, so I would recommend it to do it that way, you can do it another way. And if you like the video, please leave a subscribe and um, see you soon.